just looking at uh, Jesse's face problem. Somehow the face got unbound. Maybe delete the history on it. I don't know, but um, I can tell there's no skin cluster on the head. Um, and so it's the head, mustache, ears, sideburns. So let's select the uh, head and the um, deformation system here. Just shift click on there and I don't think we need in this case normally I would do the neck too. Well let's do the neck too. Okay. And I think we want the jaw and jaw end as well. And I'll select these items. So mustache one too. Yeah. Um So I've got the joints, I've got the surfaces, uh, rigging, skin, bind skin, options, selected joints, and probably barely even matters what bind method. I might try geodesic voxel. Okay. Uh, let's see if the head's moving. Probably gonna have to adjust the weights. Yes, we are. Oh, I didn't, I didn't grab the eyebrows. Let me go back. Oh, those are combined. I don't really like that, but I guess it'll be okay. All right, skin, fine skin, same options. Selected joints, geodesic voxel. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to have to adjust the weight. So the head's going to be pretty much 100% to the head joint. Uh, where's the paint? Skin cluster weights. Double click. Let's close the outliner. And um, head. Replace value of one flood. And probably the same for these guys, huh? I do in these two. Only these. Alright. And if you want, you know, if you want a little more going on, with, I mean, really, he doesn't have that much of a neck, so I don't know if I would even. I might just have it move like that. You could have the neck have some influence, so this sort of stretches a little bit. I'll show you what I mean. Just gonna isolate this for a second. Control F9 to convert to vertices. And maybe you know, maybe these um these words on the bottom have some the neck has some influence on those. Let's say I don't know, fifty percent or something. Replace the point five flood. So now the neck will hold those back a little bit. Let's see if we like that better. Yeah, I guess I like that better. I mean, you can make it 100% with the neck if you want. That might stretch weird. All right. And the other thing was, oh yeah, the jaw. So, um, well, in this case, because of the way I bound it, and I made sure the jaw was selected, I don't need to then now add the influence because the jaw is already an influence. So, again, let me isolate this and vertex and use my uh, lasso. Well, I guess maybe take, well, I guess I will need those. I can always put some back on the neck later. Um, so jaw and, yeah, I guess let's just flood it with 100%. And maybe, you know, do a bit of a, just 
just a little smooth here. Maybe one flood there. Let's move that out a bit. Two? No? Maybe just one. Just undo the second one. Okay. So now let's unisolate to that. Um, and where's my jaw control? Is it this thing? Yeah. How did that get on the jaw? Mm, I sure don't like the way it's pulling that stuff up there. So first of all, I don't know how that got on the jaw. <laughs> Let's put that 100% uh, on the head. Replace value of one head flood. Okay. And also this, I'm gonna select the verse of this and move this down and maybe scale it up a bit so it's easier to pick the jaw control. All right. So I would say that I'm going to need to make this stuff in the back. Um, I'll isolate that again. Just easier to pick stuff. Let's put that stuff back on the, maybe up to here. All of those could go back on that neck. Let's make those 100% neck. And then let's select the head with the neck joint here and smooth maybe once. Let's try that. Okay. So now hmm. Just I think that it's better. I think that, I mean, he doesn't have that much range of movement here anyway, so I just need to get that stuff in back, not moving at all. It was that, it was that smooth that put some of that movement back in, and I should make sure these guys at least are 100% on the neck. Replace value of one flood, okay. And that way they won't move with the jaw. Yeah, that's reasonable. Hi, Mario. Okay. So, uh, I'll save this for you. And post that in the, um, in the post.